almost live from the great city of Memphis, Tennessee, from the college that brought you the 2021 Bellwether Award, the distinction of being and achieving the Dream Leader College, and most recently, the 2021 TCCAA NJCAA Region 7 Champions of Men's Basketball. So let's give it up for Southwest Tennessee Community College. I'm Bev Johnson, and I'll be your host for the 2021 Faculty Staff Awards Ceremony. I can't wait. Are you ready? Let's go. We'd like to welcome now the president of Southwest Tennessee Community College, Dr. Tracy D. Hall. Welcome faculty, staff, and special guests to the Faculty and Staff Awards Ceremony. This year's theme is the Academy Awards, and like the Oscars, this ceremony rolls out the virtual red carpet to honor Southwest's brightest stars. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. Well, it looks as if there is light at the end of this long, dark tunnel, better known as the COVID-19 pandemic and we have made it through thus far together. So let's just bask in the moment of this auspicious occasion where we recognize our brightest stars at Southwest. While we all pulled together over this past year in the name of student success and Southwest success, there are those faculty and staff who stand out. They gave just a bit more and never wavered in their commitment to excellence. Southwest's future is as bright as the future of the students we teach, guide, and nurture, all thanks to you and too many others to name. You all have my deepest gratitude for the amazing accomplishments we have realized this year. We are national award winning. If you haven't heard, we are the winner of the prestigious 2021 Bellwether Award for Planning, Governance, and Finance. We are an Achieving the Dream Leader College, and our Saluki men's basketball team is the 2021 TCCAA Regional 7 Champions. That's a statewide title, y'all, and it's a big deal. The Lady Salukis finished runner-up in the same tournament, Congratulations to our coaches and stellar student athletes. We are on a roll, all thanks to the Southwest team. Yes, we are a team, a magnificent team. And there are times when you recognize your MVPs, or in this case, the Award of Excellence winners. To our honorees, we salute you. We appreciate you and we congratulate you. You are the Southwest way. Enjoy the event and stay safe and well. Thank you so much to our awesome president, Dr. Hall. And now our support staff organization. You know you can't have a college without a support staff. Here's Wanda Coopwood. Hello, my name is Wanda Coopwood, Interim President of the SASO and the Office Supervisor in Career Services at Southwest. It is my pleasure to announce the following Support Staff Award winners. Criteria for the Kenneth W. Mathis Environmental Service Award. Excellence is exemplified by the following criteria. Demonstrating exceptional campus service values through safety, courtesy, and quality performance. Exhibiting ways of making campus life better, which will have a positive impact on the lives of students, staff, faculty, and administration. Exhibiting demeanor that goes beyond the established qualification of office and environmental services personnel. Demonstrating a warm and caring attitude toward all individuals. He is a dedicated, dependable, hard worker, and a willing to assist in any situation with a positive attitude. He goes above and beyond his duties to make sure things are taken care of and takes great pride in his work. He assists students whenever they need assistance locating places on campus. 
The Kenneth W. Mathis Environmental Service Award goes to Roy L. Martin, Jr. and the Custodial Services Department. Congratulations. Support Staff Professional Growth Award. Excellence is exemplified by the following criteria. Improving on the job skills, showing evidence of lifelong learning, improving leadership skills by participating in activities that will benefit the college, seeking opportunities to improve interpersonal and communication skills, demonstrating commitment to the further the mission of the college. This employee is always willing to help out wherever the help is needed. They added specialized training with financial aid to help assist new students with questions about their aid. They assisted the recruiters with students at a local high school to complete and submit applications for Southwest. She was a graduate in our first virtual graduation. The Support Staff Professional Growth Award goes to Janice Y. Motley, Enrollment Specialist on the Macon Campus. Congratulations. Support Staff Service Award. Excellence is amplified, exemplified by the following criteria. Demonstrating above average work skills, producing quality work, communicating with supervisors, fellow workers, and the public in a manner which exemplifies respect for supervision showing consideration of others in the workplace and friendliness towards colleagues, exhibiting commitment to the college through acts of service. She has gone above and beyond in her job duties to assist everyone that calls. She gives much attention to detail. She projects a warm, cheerful attitude to our students, faculty, and staff, and has remarkable patience and admirable tact. The Support Staff Service Award goes to Miss Phyllis Gathright, operator on the Macon Cove campus. Congratulations. Support Staff Employee of the Year Award. Excellence is exemplified by the following criteria. Demonstrating superior job knowledge and performance. Taking advantage of training and educational opportunities to improve job performance or skills. Demonstrating excellent communication skills with peers and college personnel displaying leadership by serving on committees and participating in continuing education and college functions, promoting harmony within the department as well as other areas of the college. She is always thinking ahead and provides effective communication with our colleagues. Does she use any new or innovative approach to getting things done? If you call courtesy, empathy, and caring new, then yes, she does. Primarily with students, she will often stay later to make sure that the problem is solved, all the while smiling until the last T is crossed. The Support Staff Employee of the Year Award goes to Miss Phyllis Bruce, Administrative Assistant in the Allied Health on the Union Campus. Congratulations to all the 2020-21 Support Staff Award winners. You want to know what PASO organization is? We'll find out now. Please welcome Katrina Meldrow. Hello, I'm Katrina Muldrow, president of PASO. Each year, the Professional Administrative Staff Organization recognizes and celebrates the outstanding achievements and meritorious service of its members nominated by their peers. The categories for the awards are for leadership and service. On behalf of the PASO Executive Committee, we would like to first take this moment to thank everyone who took the time to submit nominations. This year, we are honored to present the 2020-2021 awards to the following recipients. In the category of leadership, the nominator stated, this employee deserves this recognition and their dedication speaks for itself. They did not hesitate to step up to the plate and take on the challenge as interim director, knowing the challenge will be great. I applaud their efforts and will continue to support as long as they continue to serve the Southwest family. The 2020-2021 PASO Leadership Award is awarded to Ronald Claxton, Associate Director of the Academic Support Center. In the category of service, the nominator stated, this recipient is a stellar employee and asset to the college. 
Their level of commitment and dedication to the college and student success is unmatched. This was very evident during the COVID-19 campus closure. While the majority of the college staff members work remotely, this employee worked on grounds to ensure the campus was safe for all that were on site. They learned all they could about the virus and assisted in the creation of the safety plan and ultimately gained the college praise from the City of Memphis Health Department. This employee is quick to respond to COVID-19 self-reports and plays an instrumental role in the investigation and contact tracing of our community members who self-report. Additionally, this employee is always courteous in their dealings with our vendors, staff members, faculty members, and students alike. They also serve as a smarts and move mentor because they believe in making a difference in the lives of others. During this COVID time period, they have also worked with student development, the recruitment office, and veteran affairs in order to provide the best safety and security support possible. The 2020-2021 PASO Service Award is awarded to Ernest Greenleaf, Assistant Director of Public Safety. Congratulations and thank you both for the work you do to assist faculty, staff, and students every day. And to all our nominees, thank you. Southwest would not be where we are today without your hard work and dedication as we continue to reimagine Southwest. Thank you, Ms. Muldrow. You know, one of the things that I love about Southwest Tennessee Community College is the safety and the services, and especially the police safety that we have at Southwest. Please welcome, from Police Services Public Safety, Angela Webb. Hello, I'm L. Angela Webb the Director of Police Services and Public Safety. I'm excited to be in attendance with you at this year's award ceremony. I'm proud of my team and their tireless efforts to continue providing a high safety and security level during this pandemic crisis. This year's Police Services Public Safety Awards will honor one Southwest Emergency Response Team member and one police officer from our division. I'll start with the CERT honoree. Since its inception, this honoree has been a member of the CERT committee and has maintained a bird's eye view of safety. This nominee works closely with the Police Service Public Safety Department to confirm resources are being appropriately allocated and distributed to maximize security needs. This person works on the ground, is very visible, and walks or drives from one post to another, surveying the Police Services Department's needs. This committee member also participates in each of our drills and exercises, including a very special appearance in our virtual earthquake exercise. The recipient of this award makes work a pleasure and often provides comedic relief to lighten our day. It is with great pleasure to bestow the award of appreciation to And the winner is Lennon Peanut Pearson. Congratulations. The Director's Award of Excellence will honor a police officer that provides quality service above and beyond the call of duty and serves as a leader among peers. During the height of the pandemic, when PPE supplies were minimal, this officer volunteered countless hours to rise early in the morning to stand in line with the hope of procuring needed supplies for the office and individual officers. This awardee is a peer counselor and ensures the flow of information is speedily relayed. I'm so appreciative of everything our honoree has done to support our internal, mental, and physical health initiatives. With heartfelt appreciation, the Director's Award of Excellence goes to our very own Officer Ursula Jones. Officer Ursula Jones, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lennon Peanut Pearson and Officer Ursula Jones for all of your work and dedication to the Police Services Department. Awesome, thank you, Ms. Webb. Now, I'm part of this next category. 
I might not be getting a reward, but I am also an adjunct at Southwest Tennessee Community College. I've been there for 31 years, and I love it. So now, for our faculty awards, am I in it? No. <laughs> Please welcome William Summons. This year's recipient for the Ferris Award has been a faculty member since 2010 for the Humanities, Social Sciences, and Mathematics Division. For the academic year 2020-21, she was selected as the Southwest Tennessee Community College nominee for the SOAR, the Statewide Outstanding Achievement Recognition Award, in the area of teaching excellence. For her department, she has served as the steering committee chair and committee leader on the fifth year review for public instruction. She was selected as the Program Director for the Human Resources Achieving the Dream Restructuring. As well, she chairs the college's Academic Calendar Committee. Currently, she serves on the core team for Reimagine Southwest, which was responsible for procuring funding to offer Microsoft Surface Kits for faculty. She has developed almost 10 courses for her department and worked with Cengage Learning to author a supplemental instruction manual for one course. She helped launch the Kroger Community Rewards Program for Southwest that raises money for the STCC Foundation. Though possibly her biggest achievement has been a strong advocate for the faculty, whether that is lobbying with the Compensation Study Response Committee for the 2% CLA increase, or the pilot program for the new faculty evaluation program, or the 10-session faculty dossier course and mentoring program. Her nominators noted that she has been a force for change and action. She gets involved and constantly works to make Southwest more efficient, modern, and innovative. That there is without a doubt no faculty member within the college that have not been familiar with or benefited by her many accomplishments. And the winner is Hannah Province. Congratulations, Hannah. And now for the individual faculty awards. Our first category is leadership skills. This faculty member's work with the ESL community at Southwest is extraordinary and well known. His tireless dedication to this growing population as a program coordinator and leader at the college has been considered a mission rather than an assignment. He constantly seeks to improve and grow the program so that it not only represents the school, but Memphis as a place to live, learn, and grow in our culturally diverse area. His leadership led to the creation of an ESL Learners Literature course, a TBR-sanctioned ESL policy in conjunction with the Office of Academic Affairs, and leads the ESL International Studies team with Jessica Miller to continue to develop equity and inclusive best practices at Southwest. And the winner is Dr. Christopher Hastings. Congratulations, Dr. Hastings. Our next category is professional development. This faculty member's passion and commitment to professional development are longstanding. She completed her PhD in nursing education and administration in August of 2020 with a 4.0 GPA. She has engaged in research activities through publishing in a peer reviewed journal and presenting two student-centered research posters at various conferences. This year, she obtained her Certified Academic Clinical Nurse Educator Certification and maintained her Certified Nurse Educator Certification. As a cap to a stellar year, she was accepted into the National League for Nursing 2021 LEAD program. And the winner is Dr. DeUnder Hearn. Congratulations, Dr. Hearn. Our next category is for community service. This person has been noted for her tireless dedication to helping others during these unprecedented times at Southwest, Memphis, and Shelby County. She volunteered for the Mid-South Food Bank to distribute meals to families struggling during the COVID-19 pandemic. Her civic duty included serving on several register and boat drives since March of 2020. Currently, she serves on the Tennessee Society of CPAs as a state council member and on the Accounting Career Education Committee. The Tennessee Society of Accounting Educators Executive Board Member and the Faculty Advisor for the National Association of Black Accountants. Dr. Karen Miller at Union University had this to say about this recipient's work with TSAE. As a director 
At large this year, she managed our first virtual annual conference during the pandemic. She did an amazing job with program directors, tech assistants, guest speakers, and attendees in helping them overcome the Microsoft Teams learning curve and went above and beyond to be sure our conference was a success. And the winner is Cynthia Elliott. Congratulations, Cynthia. Our next award is for Instruction and Curriculum Development. At the start of the fall semester, he was one of three full-time faculty members in graphic arts. He abruptly became the sole full-time faculty member when the others had to go out on leave. When the world went virtual, the graphic arts program was at a loss as to converting our skill base, equipment, and software-specific curriculum to a virtual format. As an emergency hire, he took it upon himself to find a solution to this problem. He developed three fully online courses and six hybrid courses for our on-ground classes within a few weeks. For the academic year 2020-21, this person has been the sole full-time faculty program coordinator, student advisor, and adjunct mentor for the graphic arts program. Department Chair Patsy Fancher stated that she does not know what she would have done with the program this past year without his drive, determination, and leadership. And the winner is Dr. Arthur Hollander. Congratulations, Dr. Hollander. All right, this category is for service to the college. The recipient of this year's award goes far beyond in the call of duty. She's continued as leader of the Science Club and being instrumental in converting the Earth Day Dash celebration into an online and virtual format to create a community for her students and to raise funds for the club. From an academic standpoint, she's a champion of the High Impact Practice Program, most specifically service learning by serving as the program coordinator. She was awarded a grant in 2020-21 to develop a service learning hub to assist faculty in the process of creating service learning opportunities in their disciplines. She serves as the Vice President of the Faculty Senate with duties that include running all the Senate elections and is a member of the Institutional Affairs Council. And the winner is the recent PhD recipient, Dr. Joyce Johnson. Congratulations, Dr. Johnson. And finally, I want to just say congratulations to all our award winners. The faculty members have done an excellent job in very difficult circumstances. Congratulations again. Thank you, Mr. Summons. And now for the Chief Information Officer, Information Technology Services Award for Excellence, please welcome Michael Boyd. I am here to present the Academy Awards for the Chief Information Officer Award of Excellence. As a part of Reimagine, we work to close the digital divide. As a result, we purchased 3,500 laptops for our students. Our client services support team stepped up and imaged the 3,500 laptops in two weeks. They took over the labs in Whitehead to accomplish this. After completing this task, I received funding to install software to disable the unit if the laptop was not returned. This required the team to individually touch the 3,500 laptops to install the software. Without hesitation, the team completed this task. For this, our first Academy Award goes to client service and support, which includes Lennon Pearson, Edward Ashworth, Tanya Tillman, Merlin Michael Roberts, Marcus Ellis Buchanan, Eric Perry, and Richard Sessions. As we prepare the laptops, we have to put them in the hands of our students. An application was created for our students. The help desk reviewed and approved each and every application. The help desk then facilitated laptop pickup day at Macon, Union, Whitehaven, and Maxine Smith. We wanted to make it convenient for our students. As a result, over 1,300 laptops were given to our students. For this, my second Academy Award goes to the help desk, which includes Norma Terry, Dominique Brown, and Nicholas Brownleaf. Thank you to both teams for your commitment to our students. Thank you so much. As we continue on with our faculty and staff awards, External Relations Vice President's Award for Excellence, please welcome Cynthia Graham. Thank 
This year, we've added an award, the Outstanding Community Service Award. As Dr. Hall says, community is our middle name. Southwest was the first TBR institution to step up and open a vaccination site. The White Haven Vaccination Site team has gone above and beyond to ensure those in the White Haven community and all across Greater Shelby County have had an opportunity to get a vaccine. They weathered heat and rain, wind, snow, and ice the White Haven vaccination site is a model site. Time after time, we have heard from volunteers and those who received their vaccine at White Haven, how kind and friendly everyone was. Congratulations to the outstanding Community Service Award to Dr. Boone and her team at White Haven. And congratulations to all those in the Marketing Communications Office as they received the Outstanding External Relations Award. As we continue on with our awards, student services, how we need our student services and enrollment because they're there to get those students at Southwest. So here now with Student Services and Enrollment Management Vice President's Award for Excellence, I like her. Jacqueline Faulkner. Hello, this is such a star-studded event. I'm glad to be here with all of the nominees, award recipients, and the loving fans up in the nosebleed section. You all make this possible. Before I go into the awards, let me make sure to acknowledge my design team. When I walked the red carpet, TMZ was tied up interviewing Dr. Hooker, and Entertainment Tonight was learning all about VP Graham's beautiful ensemble. So let me take the time to thank my design team. I want to thank Verdi Wang, not to be confused with Vera Wang, or the great coach, Verdi Seals, but Verdi Wang, who custom designed my look tonight. She flew it in all the way from Nutbush, Tennessee, and dropped it off to my publicist, Mrs. Gloria Riley, just in time for tonight's event. Now, let's get to the real reason that you're here. The first category is the Vice President's Award for Excellence in an hourly position. We received nominations from all over the campus for this award. With so many of our students learning remotely for the first time, the human touch of our frontline staff within the Division of Student Affairs has truly made the difference in persistence and student success for many of our students. Whether an outreach call from the Academic Support Center, to a virtual appointment with a financial aid or enrollment specialist, or to one of our administrative assistants doing a wellness check because the student requested more information, you all made a difference. So this was truly a difficult decision. The person nominating the award winner had this to say. In the short time that she has been employed for Southwest, she has proven to be a hard worker, dedicated to her duties, and willing to go above and beyond what is asked of her. She's willing to assist students with any situations or problems that they might have. She's pleasant and always has a smile in her voice. If I call and she's busy, she always calls me back, just like she said she would. She's truly an asset to Southwest. So today, we would like to honor a young professional who truly represents the ideals of the Vi Vice President's Award of Excellence. And the winner is none other than Ms. Misa Carter. Congratulations, Misa. This year's second award winner received nominations that spoke to his commitment to student success, his extensive knowledge, and collegiality. One person nominating him said, he maintains a positive outlook in every situation. He is tech savvy, efficient, and very knowledgeable about a number of areas, not only his department. He is an overall team player and is always willing to support his colleagues and department. During the pandemic, Southwest created a winter session to support our students' needs. Likewise, the Office of Advising desired to support our students during this session. 
He had cross-disciplinary knowledge and was the source of guidance on a myriad of matters to students who were enrolled during his sessions. He worked beyond the call of duty to assist our students with any problems that they might have had during this winter break when the college was closed. He is a true asset to advising and to Southwest Tennessee Community College. It gives me great pleasure to present this year's Vice President's Award of Excellence. Wow, to none other than Mr. James Sykes. Congratulations, James. Now, one important category that I would be remiss if I didn't add was the People's Choice Award. And that award goes to the phrase that we want to retire after 2021. We had some important nominees and I think you'll recognize them all. Unprecedented times, the new normal. You're on mute. Can you see my screen? and the all-important pivot. And the people's choice, and I think the phrase that I probably say daily goes to, can you see my screen yet? <laughs> Congratulations, Zoom and Teams. We hope to retire you soon, or at least I hope we lessen your value. <laughs> Last year, we added a new category to our award slate the Friend of Student Affairs Excellence in Partnership Award to recognize one individual outside of our division who consistently partners to meet the mission and goals of student affairs. We could never be efficient in our roles without the collaborative relationships that we have across the campus. As both Southwest and our number one feeder district largely operated virtually for the past year, connecting with students and prospective students through multiple platforms became more important than ever. YouTube, social media, email, snail mail, telegram, skywriting, you name it. We've tried it all over this past year when all of our traditional methods went out the door. The ability to tell our story and provide students and parents with timely information became critical in helping them understand how Southwest could support them in meeting their academic goals. Our current students needed information about how important wraparound support and enrollment functions would continue to be delivered during the pandemic. Put simply, our students and prospective students needed information that was relevant, timely, and often. The person receiving this award has been an invaluable resource for the Division of Student Affairs. Her collegial spirit, superb knowledge in marketing, and hard work ethic deserve recognition. There's rarely a day that passes that I'm not calling her or that I don't hear her name in support of the efforts that are happening within our division. So today, it is my distinct pleasure to award the Friend of Student Affairs Excellence in Partnership Award to none other than Miss Daphne Thomas for your dedicated service to the college and most importantly, your tireless collaboration with the Division of Student Affairs. Congratulations, Daphne, and thank you for all that you do for our college. Congratulations to all of our nominees and our award recipients. Thank you for all that you do for the Division of Student Affairs. Oh, but, but Mark, I, I'm keeping this one. It matches me. Get that. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Faulkner. Financial and administrative services is always needed, and I'm so glad they have this category here this evening. From Financial Aid Administrative Services, Vice President's Award for Excellence, please welcome Sherry Green. When I was announced as the Interim VP of Finance and Administration, one of the first items on my agenda was to give the Finance and Administration VP Staff Appreciation Award. Luckily for me, that's not been an easy decision. Finance and Administration is a great team that has worked tirelessly this past year during the COVID pandemic to make sure Southwest day-to-day -day operations continue to run smoothly. This year's recipient of the Finance and Administration Staff Appreciation Award will be a group award for the entire facilities management team. Jonathan Weldon and the facilities team have done a great job making sure the campus remains operational while we've been working from home. 
Congratulations to Jonathan and the entire facilities management team for a job well done. Our next award comes from the Academic Affairs Vice President's Award for Excellence. I like this category because it keeps me working. Please welcome Dr. Kendricks Hooker. Greetings, Southwest. I am truly honored to be a part of this special occasion as it highlights some of the amazing work occurring at Southwest. Similar to last year, we have had some unique challenges as a result of the pandemic that have created some impactful opportunities. Being that we are the community's college, we were asked to assist our city and county in serving as a vaccine distribution site for the Whitehaven community. And as always, Southwest was up for the challenge. Now you can't think of the Whitehaven Center without thinking of this person. And I must admit that we can't begin to acknowledge the success that we have had with the vaccine distribution project without thinking of and acknowledging this person. That I will announce briefly. I'll just keep you waiting for a moment. I would be remiss if I did not take a moment to recognize every single person involved in this endeavor. Your contributions are duly noted and held in the highest regard, not only by me, but all of your Southwest colleagues and the Whitehaven community. Thank you. And now, without further ado, I am beyond excited and truly honored to present the Academic Affairs Award to Dr. Vanita Boone. You earned this recognition and congratulations, Dr. Boone. Mere words cannot express my appreciation for you and your leadership. Your tireless efforts did not go unnoticed. Thank you and congratulations. Now for recognition of our retirees and milestone year employees. It's now time for our 2021 Faculty and Staff Award Ceremony Service Award recipients. For five years, David Bailey, Pamela Brown, Marcellus Buchanan, Roshanda Buchanan, Reginald Burton, Thomas Cole, Frank Daniels, Emily Ford, Julie Fournier, Amy Fry, Rhonda Graves, Holly Green, Lisa Griffin, Carol Harris, Stephanie Harvey, Natalie Herndon, Rosalind Hicks, Kia Kendra, Thomas King, Seraphin Lambert, Christopher Meredith, Aaron Merritt, Electa Park, Craig Quinn, Michael Rounds, Leslie Russell, Rachel Trigg, Martin Wakefield, and Leslie Webb. And now for our 10-year awards, Charles Baker, Tracy Benson, Donald Drury, Henry Lewis, Hannah Province, Phyllis Ridley, Janice Smith, Julianne Waits. Our 15-year recipients, Cynthia Abadie, John Brazel, Laurie Fault, Nanette Grady, Lloyd Nunn, Lestine Richmond, Patricia Stevens, Felicia Sykes, Courtney Ward, and Dr. Nathan Washington. For our 20-year recipients, Jeremy Burnett, Tawana Douglas, Patsy Fancher, Chatika Ferris, Nicoletta Free, Travagus Howard, Phyllis Isby Turnage, Johnice Motley, Alicia Sawyer, Bridget Smith, 
Felicia Starnes and Janet Seitz. Boy, this category is getting older. Our 25-year recipients, Kenneth Foster, Alpha Hunsucker, Bernice Jackson, Lydia Line Barger, Kim Martin, Melissa Terry, Carol Tyler, and Dr. Melinda Wade. Now for our 30-year category. Clay Hancock, Michael Jordan, Mary Maddox, Phyllis Porter, Mary Pratt, and Karen Taylor. Now for our 35-year recipients. Ronald Claxton, Michael Gentry, and Deborah Murphy. Our 40-year recipients, Frankie Bowen, Patricia Brown, and Brenda Townsend. Let's give them a big round of applause, all of our recipients. Congratulations and thank you for serving and being at Southwest Tennessee Community College. We have a very special, special recognition for four of our retirees. Our first, Charles Bryant. Ruth Connor. Dr. Robert Walker, Jr. Rosalind Wilkerson. Congratulations to all of our retirees. We thank you for your service and your community service as well. It has been such a pleasure of hosting this award. My heart is always with Southwest Tennessee Community College. Y'all know it's my best choice. Thank you again for having me. And once again, our illustrious president, Dr. Tracy D. Hall. Each year, it is my honor and privilege to recognize a faculty or staff member who has impacted our students and or the Mid-South community in a profound manner. Just as this past year has been like no other, this year's honoree will be a little different than in years past. We all know the impact of the pandemic on college operations, our students, and all of our lives. It was life altering. We had to do what we have never done before. We had to see beyond the crisis and not only envision the possibilities, but also make them a reality and do it in a matter of days. And we had to protect life. This highest calling took center stage as we watched the number of lives lost rise each day on the news and for some of us in our own lives. Our mortality was never more palpable, but we pushed on. We didn't close the college. We didn't quit on our students or our mission and commitment to the community. Leading this phenomenal year of change, transition, and triumph was the Southwest Tennessee Community College COVID-19 Task Force. 
and they are this year's Presidential Award of Excellence recipients. I am truly honored to work with this group and even more honored to recognize their contributions today. The COVID-19 Task Force members and recipients of the Presidential Award of Excellence are Dr. Kendricks Hooker, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Jacqueline Faulkner, Vice President for Student Affairs. Sherry Green, Interim Vice President for Finance and Administration. Cynthia Graham, Vice President for External Relations. Michael Boyd, Chief Information Officer. Ileana Riccelli, Associate Vice President for Human Resources. Cindy Abadie, Special Assistant to the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Sherman Greer, Executive Director for Government Relations. Daphne Thomas, Executive Director for Communications, Marketing and Community Relations. And last, but certainly not least, Dr. Sheila Bowie, our Nursing Department Chair, and Mary Maddox, our Emergency Medical Technology Department Chair, who both served as the Task Force's Medical Advisors. When I joined Southwest five years ago, I could never have imagined facing such a daunting challenge as a president. But thanks to this phenomenal group of courageous, conscientious, compassionate, creative, and committed professionals, the college was up to the challenge and emerged as a model of pandemic response. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating this stellar group of leaders who helped Southwest shine during one of our world's darkest hours. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this special occasion. Thank you to the members of our Human Resources Division for making this virtual event a reality. A special thanks to Ms. Loretta Bartlett for her leadership in coordinating this celebration. Great job. And to our years of service and service excellence honorees, congratulations again. I am truly grateful to each and every employee for their courage and commitment this past year as we navigated the pandemic to keep our students and the college moving forward to achieving the dream and reimagining Southwest. We are who we are because of you. We are Southwest. Thank you and be well. Stop the press, stop the press. Wait, Mark, don't roll the credits yet. Where is Ileana? Surely she does not want to end this ceremony without this last award. But wait a minute, if I'm going to present this last award, I need my special glasses, so let me. See, these red ones are not it. Those are the regular glasses. So let's try the green ones. Nah, a bit much. Don't want those. Let's try the leopard. Maybe this is a leopard kind of day. Nope, that's not it either. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I think this, is, this might be it. This might be it. Oh yeah, we're on to something. Definitely a clear glasses day for this one. So, I have my right specs to introduce our star of the year. I heard several names in each of the categories for five, 10, 15, and even some 40 year employees, but I believe that someone left out our MVP, our own star of the year. A little over five years ago, this person was chosen for the starring role for Southwest. The governor and the Board of Regents charged her with driving the state's college attainment goals for Shelby and Fayette County and meeting the workforce needs for the greater Memphis area. Like any great leader, she then challenged, empowered, and supported her team in creating the organization that would lead to increased credentials, stabilized enrollment, equitable achievement outcomes, improved funding, and most importantly, a more student-centric learning environment, both inside and outside the classroom. Her vision has led the college to national recognition and often being cited for the innovative work and best practices that are happening at Southwest. So today, it is my distinct honor to present this final award for five years of dedicated service, inspiring vision, and heart work on behalf of our college, our own star of the year, 
none other than Dr. Tracy D. Hall. Congratulations, Dr. Hall. Now, Mark, you can run the credits. <laughs> Really? That's funny. Shiny. Hold it like this. Board. And to the, I don't remember what the other one's called. Knowledge, the success that we have had with the distribution. Ah. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> that's all. That's <laughs> okay. And that's all I got. <laughs> if I had a mic, I'd drop it. Ready? Take two. No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Well, okay. We. Oh, we're on. No, I am. Oh, you're not. Oh, I was. was... Okay. <laughs> not been familiar with or benefited by her myriad. How do you pronounce that? 